The Big Bang is commonly thought of as the start of it all. About 13.8 billion years ago, the observable universe went boom and expanded into being. But what were things like before the Big Bang? Short answer, we don't know. Long answer, it could have been a lot of things, each mind-bending in its own way. So let's dig a little deeper to find out more. Welcome to Space World. In today's video, we are going to talk about what scientists discovered about the universe before the Big Bang. So if you want to know more about it, then stay with us until the end of the video. The universe has not existed forever. It was born around 13.82 billion years ago. Matter, energy, space, and time erupted into being in a fireball called the Big Bang. It expanded, and from the cooling debris, there congealed galaxies, islands of stars of which our Milky Way is one among about two trillion. This is the Big Bang Theory. A universe popping into existence out of nothing is so bonkers that scientists had to be dragged kicking and screaming to the idea. But the evidence is compelling. The galaxies are flying apart like pieces of cosmic shrapnel, and the heat of the Big Bang is all around us. Greatly cooled by cosmic expansion, this afterglow appears not as visible light but principally as microwave radiation. The cosmic background radiation which was discovered by radio astronomers in 1965. Therefore, it is difficult enough to imagine a time roughly 13.7 billion years ago when the entire universe existed as a singularity. According to the Big Bang Theory, one of the main contenders vying to explain how the universe came to be, all the matter in the cosmos, all of space itself, existed in a form smaller than a subatomic particle. Once you think about that, an even more difficult question arises. What existed just before the Big Bang occurred? The question itself predates modern cosmology by at least 1600 years. Fourth century theologian Saint Augustine wrestled with the question of what existed before God created the universe. His conclusion was that the biblical phrase in the beginning implied that God had made nothing previously. Moreover, Augustine argued that the world was not made by God at a certain time, but that time and the universe had been created simultaneously. Later on in the early 20th century, Albert Einstein came to very similar conclusions with his theory of general relativity. Just consider the effect of mass on time. A planet's hefty mass warps time, making time run a tiny bit slower for a human on Earth's surface than a satellite in orbit. The difference is too small to notice, but time even runs more slowly for someone standing next to a large boulder than it does for a person standing alone in a field. Based upon Einstein's work, Belgian cosmologist Rev. Georges Lemaitre published a paper in 1927 that proposed the universe started out as a singularity and that the Big Bang led to its expansion. According to Einstein's theory of relativity, time only came into being as that primordial singularity expanded towards its current size and shape. Case closed? Far from it. This is one cosmological quandary that won't stay dead. In the decades following Einstein's death, the advent of quantum physics and a host of new theories resurrected questions about the pre-Big Bang universe. Keep watching to learn about some of them. So, did our universe bubble out of a previous one? Here's a thought. What if our universe is but the offspring of another, older universe? Some astrophysicists speculate that this story is written in a relic radiation left over from the Big Bang, the Cosmic Microwave Background CMB. Astronomers first observed the CMB in 1965, and it quickly created problems for the Big Bang theory problems that were subsequently addressed for a while in 1981 with the inflation theory. This theory entails an extremely rapid expansion of the universe in the first few moments of its existence. It also accounts for temperature and density fluctuations in the CMB, but dictates that those fluctuations should be uniform. That's not the case. Recent mapping efforts actually suggest that the universe is lopsided, with more fluctuations in some areas than in others. Some cosmologists see this observation as supporting evidence that our universe 
bubbled off from a parent universe. In the words of California Institute of Technology researcher Adrian Erikek, adding to this, in chaotic inflation theory, this concept goes even deeper, an endless progression of inflationary bubbles, each becoming a universe, and each of these birthing even more inflationary bubbles in an immeasurable multiverse. Still, other models revolve around the formation of the pre-Big Bang singularity itself. If you think of black holes as cosmic trash compactors, they stand as prime candidates for all that is primordial compression. So, our expanding universe could, theoretically, be the white hole output from a black hole in another universe. A white hole is a hypothetical body that acts in the opposite manner of a black hole, giving off serious energy and matter rather than sucking it in. Think of it as a cosmic exhaust valve. Some scientists propose that our universe may have been born inside a black hole, and every black hole in our own universe could each contain separate universes as well. But some scientists think the universe started not with a Big Bang, but with a Big Bounce. Now, what's the Big Bounce? Long ago, medieval religious philosophers in India taught that the universe goes through an endless cycle of creation and destruction, in which it evolves from an undifferentiated mass unto the complex reality that we see around us, before destroying itself and starting anew. Some contemporary scientists have arrived at an idea with striking parallels. They believe that instead of a Big Bang, the universe expands and contracts in a cycle bouncing back each time that it shrinks to a certain size. In the Big Bounce theory, each cycle would begin with a small, smooth universe that wouldn't be as tiny as the singularity. It would gradually expand and become clumpier and more warped over time. Eventually, it would reach a point where it would start to collapse and gradually smooth itself out as it shrank to the size of the starting point. Then the cycle would begin anew. For the Big Bounce idea to work, it has to find a way around the singularity theorems developed by British physicists Roger Penrose and Stephen Hawking, which suggest that a contracting universe would shrink all the way down to a singularity, in the fashion that a massive dying star eventually condenses to form a black hole. To do that, Big Bounce models depend upon the idea of negative energy counteracting gravity and reversing the collapse, so that the universe and time-space would be driven apart again and again. These cycles of contraction and expansion would repeat themselves once every trillion years or so. So, the Big Bounce would make a departure from Western civilization's view of reality since St. Augustine, because it would recognize that time actually existed before the universe as we know it. And this is it for today, guys. What are your thoughts on today's video? Share your views with us in the comments below. And don't forget to give this video a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel, and ring the bell icon for more amazing videos about space. And thank you for watching.